Hello, today I'm going to explain what's called the Sprint Overdrive Pro, and we'll use the acronym OD. The Sprint Overdrive Pro is a mobile wireless router much like the MiFi, except that it's capable of both 3G and 4G speeds. Most of you know what Wi-Fi stands for, but it's usually typical to use if you're going to be in one location, such as your home. The MiFi means it's mobile, you can take it with you anywhere that you go, and it will work, as long as that there is 3G and 4G connection in that area. This device can also connect and support up to eight Wi-Fi enabled devices. This means that all of your family or roommates or friends can share one MiFi together. You can also make a call through the video phone with the high speed connection as well, and that's a very cool feature. Today, I am showing you how to work with the Sprint Overdrive Pro 3G slash 4G. When you purchase it, you will not be able to assemble it together, but it's very simple to do. First, you will need to install the battery in the Sprint OD device. As you can see, I've already pulled my battery out. I will go ahead and connect my battery. Now you have to connect the, the components to the OD and then plug into the AC power. And we will go ahead and make that connection now. After you have your charger plugged in, you will need to plug it into an electrical outlet. Typically, this charges very quickly. It will take about 90 minutes to get a full battery power. Also, another way that you can charge your OD is by connecting it directly into your computer system by using the USB port. Go ahead and connect the components to the OD. And then once you have this plugged in, it will work fine, but just to give you a heads up, it will take longer, typically three to four hours to get a full charge for your battery. Once you have everything plugged in and the battery is fully charged, you will go ahead and turn on your OD. You will need to press and hold the on button until you see the Sprint logo pop up and it will say powering up. Everything's finished and the setup is on and ready to be plugged in to your computer system or your laptop. You want to make sure that your laptop is connecting to the MiFi. For Mac users, just click on the Wi-Fi logo on the right upper corner. At first, when you see the drop-down menu, you will not see the option for our network. First, you want to make sure that you click the airport and make sure that the airport is on. This way it can search for our network and scan the Wi-Fi. Now you can see the OverDrive Pro show up on the list and you can go ahead and click on that. This will allow a connection to happen. Now it will ask you for a password. So how can you find the password? It'll show, I'll show you the number here. Go ahead and feed the number into the secure. Ah, here it is. Once you see the check mark next to the OverDrive Pro, that means that you have successfully connected. Now for PC users, you want to make sure that your Wi-Fi radio is on to connect to the network. Once you see the OverDrive Pro with the check mark, that means you have successfully connected. Now for PC users, the concept is really similar. Again, if you will be using a PC, the first thing that you want to make sure you have is that your Wi-Fi radio is on. 
This way you can connect to the network. Now go to the Wi-Fi status on the lower right corner of the screen, which is on the taskbar. Here I'll show you. Here you'll see the list of Wi-Fi options, and you want to search for the OverPro. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. You'll notice that there is a box that you can check. If you check this box, this means that your, your computer will go ahead and memorize your information, so that way you only have to feed it into your system one time. Again, you can find the eight digits on the front of the OD and go ahead and feed this into the security key text box. Now you can go ahead and check to see if it's connected. You can go ahead and check the status bars. And there you can see that a connection has been made. But let's just double check to make sure it's our network. Yep, and here you can see the OverDrive Pro, and that is the correct network. Now, if you want to turn off the OD, how do you do this? Just go ahead and press and hold the power button until it shuts down. If you still have any questions or concerns with your OverDrive Pro, please contact us and we will be more than happy to help you.